hello guys good evening and welcome back all right so in today's video we want to learn how to draft a jacket now these are the measurements i have we have the chest 46 shoulder 18 length of 20 and a half and waist of 44. now bear in mind that this chest is a fitted measurement now this is the person's real shoulder but in drafting we are not going to make use of the real shoulder we are going to deduct three inches from this and use 15 for the shoulder right so let's get on to the drafting proper so now the first thing to do here is to apply the length so you mark the length of 26 and a half then you are going to add extra two inches to that that 28 and a half so you apply the length as well in this form and then you connect the line as shown connect the line as shown in this way and then after which mark out the english mouth you know just remove that um, savage edge mark it out make sure it's straight up that way make sure it's straight up that way and then after this this is the english mouth i am trying to mark off then you add extra one inch for your button allowance remember it have it will have a button right so mark one inch there for your button allowance then after which you also connect the lines as shown make sure that the lines must be straight enough connect the lines as shown in this form and then once you're done with that the next thing to do here is to um mark uh, apply the chest which we have to be 46 inches so divide by four you have 11.5 and which will be measured from the end of the bottom allowance right so you add extra one inch to read for the ease allowance so you mark that form mark in that form right remember chest by four then plus extra one inch for ease so mark the same measurement there and all markings must start from the beginning of the button allowance then connect the line as shown in this form connect the line as shown in this form make sure it's straight enough connect as shown in this form and then after this the next to do now is to mark your shoulder now shoulder is 18 remember we are removing three inches for the um Fitting right, so you mark the 18 first, that's 9 that way. Mark it first, the 18 inches, then coming by 3. Coming by 3, that's the standard, right? And then from here, you mark the natural neckline 3.5 inches width that way. So this remains for your sleeve for the shoulder allowance, right? And then from here as well, you locate the armhole, so which we are using. 11 and a half for her ambo you know this for a female jacket though but it's still the same process for the men right so you mark 11 and a half for the ambo because of the nature of the chest which is why we are using this formula so once you are done with this you also you also mark from there the opening i'm using 11 or 11 11 one quarter right then from here you call, you call, and connect it to this very point. You can use your ammo curve or button master. However, you connect it in this form. Remember, you can do any shape of your choice. You can do V, curvy, or um, anyhow you want it. But I want to do a curvy nature. So you call from that point this way, and then after that, you also call from here. To get to your shoulder point this way, the curve will go in this form, right? And then make sure the curve is in enough to avoid foldings or rumples on the armhole. So you curve it smoothly enough. So after once I've done this now, the next thing to do is to um, slope. So you come down there by one inch it's called shoulder slope or slanting come down by one inch then slope all through the bottom end 
So this armhole has reduced to 10.5 now, right? So we'll be noting the points. And then the down area, we're going to mark a curve. So from here, get the middle distance. From that distance, get the midpoint. From there, six inches, right? So this is the point you make your curvings to, to rhyme. So come up here by two and a half there and then come down here by two and a half as well you know this is optional though but it's necessary so you curve this way and then curve as well in this form you know to get the side and this um, center curve right so this is how you curve it and then after this then you put your that placement so you measure from there um, the chest, the, the waist, sorry, the waist is 44. That's the shaping now, right? The shaping is 44. The waist is 44. You add a shower one. That's making it to be 12. So 12 is the inch you're going to mark. So now you mark 44 plus half inch for the dart, half inch as well. One is for closing. So everything tallies. So it, it corresponds. But if it doesn't correspond, you will have a shaping at the side. So this is going to be a straight jacket because the owner is big or plumpy. So you cut in this form. If you like this video, kindly comment, like and share. And also give me a thumbs up. And if you like to see the sewing or the stitching aspects, please drop a heart image on this video for me to know how many of us are interested to learn the, um, the stitching aspect. Don't forget, this is Mr. Define Clothing. And I am here to teach all, 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 all of you how to make clothes in a very simplified manner. My methods are unique and stretch to the point. No long stories, no confusion, um, no excessive um, 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 explanations. Stretch to the point, right? So you cut in this form. Make sure that the armhole area is deep enough. So you cut all through this way. Now, because it's, uh, the, the owner is big, there will be no shaping, right? It will, be, it will go a straight line all through this way. So from here as well, we are going to locate the um, back panel with this panel as well. So now for the back placements, you place, place the one inch out, the one for the zip allowance. You place it out and then arrange it properly this way. Make sure you have allowance at the sides and also at the up area then from here you are going to trace it out and cut please make sure you follow the process then raise here by two inches the back panel will be raised by two inches two two inches thereabout then you connect the line as shown connect the line as shown and then you also trace the exact size of this armhole make sure you properly traced right the exact size of the armhole of the shoulder joining make it to be a bit bigger here so make it to be a bit bigger here then once you have marked this point now the back neck you're going to use is one or two inches let's use two inches deep for the back neck area then from there you curve it in this form you curve in this form and then you cut you cut all through that way Make sure it properly cuts this way. And then you go here as well. You go here as well. And then, and then for the back length, it will be from the end of this point, the length is what it's going to use. You're not going to use the one that protrudes them. So the back will be like one inch or two inches shorter. But it should be straight. It shouldn't be curvy as the front is. Very important, right? Just mark it from the curvy area. Connect the two curve points together. That is what I did here. So once you are done with that, then you cut the armhole area. Cut the armhole area. Cut the armhole area. Cut all through this area. Cut all through this area. Cut all through this area. And then the next to do now is to also cut the sides, cut the sides, and then cut the length. So, of course, we are going to learn how to do the well pockets. If you comment and share this video, 
if i see enough comments on this video i will drop the video on the stitching aspects and also the gumming thanks guys for watching see you in the next video but then i will show you as well how to correspond this if i go to so bend the bar to come in front just the way we do our senator aspect and then trim the excesses here very important make sure the both lines the both shoulders corresponds then walk walk on the neck area trim it to the shoulder point so once you have done this you are good to go so the back shoulder should correspond with the front shoulder as well so look at the beauty we are seeing here i believe you like this and you will learn a lot from this the well pocket placket is three inches width this way three inches width this way but the length of um, we're going to use seven inches right for the well pocket placket so you mark connect the both lines this way connect the lines as well in this one and that's all to do so bear in mind that the wet pocket plaquettes are two pairs for for the two pockets right so that's four pieces of cloth so for the weld pocket blanket so this is what you're going to do see you guys in this forming section and in the sewing section as well